right, there's all of our samples of spinach. The, some pressed cake, pressed liquor, some as received, more pressed liquor and pressed cake. We have some as received of the spring mix, and we're about to get started running the spring mix. Same machine. Uh, same machine, and uh, what I did this time is, and this still may not be sufficient, went to a, such a low pressure that when I threw the lever, the arm didn't even move and then gradually increase pressure till the arm moved. However, that's still a lot of pressure, believe it or not, and we may, we may still have to open the cone and run it in the, kind of the neutral position with a fixed opening. But there's nothing about this spring mix that leads me to believe it won't run equally, at least as well, as the, as the spinach. just from the previous run. New pail, new tub. Steam injection. I think the back press over there would work. This is a CP4 screw press here that had been used for some other testing. This header that you see on it is to inject steam. That red line runs over to a very old steam boiler that we have. But by injecting steam into product, it helps release some of the moisture, additional moisture. Don't know if there's if that would be practical in your setup. You would probably need waste, heat, steam, but just to point it out as a technical reality, it, it would assist. Going through, no problem. Same leakage thing. to propping the cone open may be a cone timer that periodically opens, lets a portion of the plug that's formed fall out. I'll simulate that. And then the cone closes again before the entirety of the plug comes out. That way, you do keep a high pressure on it so that you get this higher volume of liquid through the screen like you like to see, but you do give it a, an opportunity to purge so that the lettuce doesn't have to have so much body in order to get out past the pressure of the cone. Yeah, I'd go with a cone timer rather than the jacking bolt. Cone timer sets up a more sustainable operation, I think. The cone timer is fully adjustable. You can determine how long the cone stays closed and 
uh, how long it stays open. So you can adjust all of that based on some observation in the field. You may want to keep the cone closed for two minutes and open it for 30 seconds. But I do find something interesting here. We have press cake coming out on its own. I mean, you can see the gauge is practically at zero. However, you couldn't pull this arm open if you tried. It is quite possible that, that the, uh, the spinach would have done this same thing if we had a low enough pressure, but we just don't know. This is operating more normally, though. sort of normal plug at the end. This is the 12th 11 ounce uh, pan. 12th and final. are no more full ones, so I thought we started with 15. take one sample like this falling out of the end and another from down inside the, the tub. Okay, well that concludes that test. And uh, the moisture results to follow.